outside and as I was leaving the school, a couple that I'd seen at another gallery started to walk by and I said, oh, you guys are into photography. Go upstairs, you got to see Sophie's stuff. So I was very impressed. And actually, as we were talking and I looked at your work, I really thought you had a sense of composition and I could tell your passion and how excited you were about things. And I actually told the group before you got here, I'm usually pretty happy in my 56-year-old kind of body most days, but I was really envious and excited to think about the possibilities of just starting out by going off to um, school for uh, photography and the opportunities that I had to do. So, Sophie, you want to come on up and uh, welcome? And, uh, and I really don't know Sophie's off, Sophie's off to school at Cornish in Seattle. Yeah. So, um, and then what I thought we would do is we're almost at the time when Sophie's done, we'll take a break and give everybody an opportunity to look more closely at some of the work. So thanks for coming here. Yeah, so my name is Sophie Gilbert, and I am a senior at Jefferson Community School, which is the school downtown by the Courtyard Cafe. And I've been going there since ninth grade when they first opened up. And I did my first photography class there, and we did our, we developed our film in a darkroom bag. And that was like my first introduction to like just the world of photography and developing and stuff. And that teacher left that year and I just, I realized like I really enjoyed that class and it was really fun for me. And so I, since that, since that year I've been doing my own photography, developing it, developing my film and everything. And um, I just found my passion for it and I really love it. And I really enjoy doing portrait or portrait photography, which is really cool to hear about all this. And um, yeah, I do portraits of my friends right now, and I'm really into fashion photography and photojournalism. So yeah, I really like portraits and things. And this year, I got accepted to go to Cornish College of the Arts in Seattle with a scholarship, and I'll be studying photography and videography there. I love so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I brought my portfolio, well, this is part of it, some of it's still hanging in my gallery down at the school, which will be open every day until for the next month from 9 a.m. to around 4 o'clock, Monday through Friday. So if anybody wants to go down there and see it. So are you shooting film? Yeah, film and yeah. some digital. Some video. Uh, yeah, yes, I do. Yes, and I do videography with my mom because she's a 4-H coordinator. So I do... Um, uh, like video interviewing for Jefferson County stuff. Mm. <laughs> Pretty cool, but um, yeah, I have my pictures and I love for people to get And Sophie, yeah, what about what digital stuff? When you say digital, are you using Lynch Mom? Tell me, has some, are you using a different format cameras? What are you using for? I use I use a lot of cameras. I use a Pentax film camera and I use a Holdet and I have a Fish Island for that. I also have. A Minolta film camera and an Nikon D200 and an Olympus film camera. So I'm using a lot of different things. I really like medium format though for my holders. And, and a lot of your uh, photojournalism work, was it pictures based around uh, some of the kids that you knew at the boiler room? Was that where Yeah, I do a lot of pictures at the boiler room. I also do senior pictures, which I don't, I don't prefer to do those, but I do do senior pictures. I also, um, I do a lot of pictures of homeless people right now because my senior project down at the school is on homelessness. So I've been working on that a lot. And I go to Seattle a lot to concerts and I take pictures of people going into concerts, which you can see some of those in here. And, but I've been like using a lot of my friends for models right now. But hopefully that will change eventually. Are you doing your own printing? Or are you huh? setting out for doing your own printing too? I did my own printing at a class when I went to Cornish during the summer, but right now I go to Costco to get them printed. Okay. So are yeah. we all? <laughs> 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 so yeah. how did you start it? <sighs> See, I started like six years ago when my mom started working for 4-H. I'm not sure exactly how long ago it was. But um, yeah, I started doing videography and she also had still cameras in they're just like little digital cameras and I just played around with them a lot and really got into it. And then someone gave me my first, my first film camera and I started down at Jefferson, Jefferson Community School and did my first class and that's when I really got into it. And why portraits? I love people. <laughs> I just like, I like people so it's really fun. I like to cap capture people's personality and make it real. 
So Sophie, what is it, <clears throat> getting into Cornish, what is the magic sauce that you had that got you through the door? I don't know. <laughs> I got accepted in the interview. I just went in there and showed them my pictures and they just accepted me right then. And I think it was the fact that I had a lot of uh, variety. It wasn't all just the same stuff and I had a lot in there. It wasn't a small portfolio. I mean, there's a lot in here. This is a lot of photos. So just variety, I think. And personality they really liked them. <laughs> yeah. Tell them about the interview with the the San Francisco art. Oh, maybe. after I got accepted, there was also um, there are other, there are other uh, like admissions officers from other colleges around the United States, other art schools, and they had like a little gallery like showing where you like walk in and do portfolios. So I was like, oh, show them to the other admissions officers to see what they thought about your photos. It was kind of like a critiquing thing, and. Uh, I think it was AAU in California. I took a, a, that's the only other school that I was interested in besides Cornish. So I took my portfolio up to that woman and she said she would give me the first semester free because of how many photos I had in my portfolio already. So. <laughs> and you also do some modeling too, right? Oh, I've gotten into it a little bit, but not like seriously. I just like getting my picture taken. I mean, I've been told that I should do modeling, but I haven't really tried out yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyone else have any questions? Sophie, do you have a couple that you want to, we could just show the group uh, by oh, holding up a couple and then yes. um, and then we'll break, go to break and we'll give Sophie a chance to answer some more questions and look at the uh, group. Yeah, so these are two portraits that I've done black and white films. Is that what you want on black and white? And I do some color too. Yeah. <laughs> Homeless. Huh? Are they homeless? Uh, this guy was. This is one of my friends. Oh, so. <laughs> 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 it, it's a style. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, have you ever asked them? Did you ever ask if you could take their picture? I have. Yeah, I just walk up to people, especially in Seattle. I like to go over there and take pictures. So, I just go up to people who look interesting, ask if I can take their pictures. And I've been turned down a lot, but it's not. It's worth it. It's worth mm -hmm. a try. So. Why, why do you like to work in black and white? I don't know, I feel like everything looks better in black and white. I really don't like color very much, even though I do work with it. I think everyone, everything looks better in black and white. I like that the contrast is more interesting with black and white than with color. And then here's some other ones. Why don't you shoot color and turn it black and white? I do. <laughs> yeah.